The U.S. may also be facing higher food prices as well because of a brutal drought in California. Some experts say that it's been centuries since the western U.S. has experienced a 15-year period like this. It's leading to the state government to look at the ocean for a solution. Ikenda McGehee takes us there. As fears of an all-out water crisis widen, some jurisdictions are looking seaward and wondering if the world's largest reservoir, the Pacific Ocean, is a viable water source. Officials around San Diego are betting on it, and by the end of 2015, they'll be tapping it through desalination, the process of removing salt from seawater. An Israeli-based company is building the Western Hemisphere's largest seawater desalination plant at a cost of $1 billion. The facility will produce 50 million gallons of drinking water daily and supply water to some 300,000 residents annually. Average water bills would increase about $7 a month to cover the costs. Desalinization, the city of Carlsbad, is extremely significant. This will add about 10% more water to the whole region. I believe that this uh, desaling facility could actually serve most of the coastal regions. It's an absolute plus because we have a huge reservoir out in the ocean. But desalination has its drawbacks. Environmentalists say desalination can kill marine life. Mountainous coastline topography makes constructing pipelines difficult and pricey. Our surface water right now is significantly cheaper. Our surface water supplies is about $300 an acre foot, and a facility such as the desalination facility is about $1,700 an acre foot. Wow. So orders of magnitude more. Two decades ago, the city of Santa Barbara spent some $30 million to develop this desalination plant. By the time construction was complete, the drought was over and the plant shut down. These are the two seawater pumps that were actually in the Pacific Ocean. The city of Santa Barbara removed them to prevent rust and other deterioration. And this is the check valve. That ball inside actually forces ocean water in one direction, toward the coast. The question is, can these pricey parts be salvaged or reused if or when the plant is restarted? Santa Barbara officials hope to restart production. Now the cost to reactivate it is right now at $32 million. Nearly the same sum of money to restart it that it costs to build it. An expensive lesson that newer desalination facilities, like Carlsbad, hope to avoid. Yakenda McGahee, CCTV, Carlsbad, California.